Hey guys. So, this will be the weekly reading for Aquarius. So we have the Eight of Wands in reverse. Something's not moving at moving along right now. Let's see. So we have Temperance right. Yeah, something's stuck. Something is definitely stuck. But somebody's also growing. Somebody is like mad at which, at the pace at which something is manifesting or progressing. We have so we have Temperance here, Sag energy. We have Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, and we have the Hermit Virgo energy. So I feel like some of you guys are single. Like that, this could be a singles reading, like, or some of you guys are feeling alone right now. Um, going through like a period of like self-reflection, introspection, um, going inward, like this part of your journey will be like kind of like maybe self-focused or something like that. But I do see that like there's like frustration or impatience around something not moving forward or something not happening um, as fast as you would like it to. I do feel like um, there is like something about like self-limiting beliefs. There's like a, just a very impatient energy here. Like some of you, it could be self-limiting beliefs or like you're not ready for something yet. Let's see. Clarify the Eight of Wands in reverse. Clarify the Eight of Wands. So we have the Ten of... So you guys are like feeling like it's taken forever in a lifetime for you to move on from a situation. Or you guys just feel like two, two, two on the camera. Spirit's telling you to go with the flow. Have faith and go with the flow. But um, it's like you're you're getting frustrated with like your 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 ability to be able to move on from something or heal from something. Or like there's like you feel like you've been learning the same lesson for a long time or something like that. Tell me about temperance in reverse. Yeah, judgment in reverse. Yeah, Spirit says, you guys are probably like, Can, have I learned le enough lessons? Like, why do I keep learning the same damn lesson? That there's something that you want to manifest or you want to come in for you, but it's not coming in. And you just feel like you just keep getting lesson after lesson after lesson. But Spirit says with judgment in reverse, Scorpio energy, there's unfinished lessons. It's not, you're not ready. It's not time. All right, you may be growing impatient, but this is like a part of divine plan. It's all happening the way that it's supposed to. Or Spirit is saying you keep repeating the same lesson because you're not learning the lesson. It's something about that. So let's see, Page of Wands in reverse. Yeah, Page of Cups. So Spirit is saying you guys need to really start listening to your intuition more. Um, tell me about the Hermit. So that came out weird. Tell me about, let's see. Clarify the Hermit, Virgo energy. Okay. The Four of Wands in reverse. Somebody could be leaving. Um, oh, no, that's the Four of Wands upright. Somebody could be withdrawing from a situation or something's changing. Wheel of Fortune on the back of the deck. Yeah, moving on. Maybe you guys are finally being able to move on from something now. Listening to your intuition. Something that you had a really hard time moving away from. You gave a lot. Probably because you gave a lot to the situation. But this could be like some type of like marriage. It could be um, friends, family. I don't know. But somebody is like finally letting something go. Or like something. Let's see. What does this mean? So where does my collective fit into this so we have the seven of cups that so you guys are getting clarity either you're coming out of some type of illusion or like if you have if you've had options and choices four 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 on the camera as i'm saying this release doubts and move forward in faith if you have had been like if you have options or choices it's going to become very clear either you're seeing through an illusion or if you have options and choices it's going to be become very clear which choice to choose if this is not your energy, this is somebody else in this energy. How does this relate to my collective? Yeah, you're the one, you're, you guys are the ones that are getting annoyed with this pace at something that is happening here. Like, you're sick of somebody's indecision or some of you guys, tell me about the hangman in reverse, Pisces energy. Yeah, the ten of pentacles in reverse. What's this have to do with my collective? You're, so either some of you guys are going to be leaving. Maybe somebody keeps telling you that they're going to do something and they don't do it. Like you feel like it's been taking forever in a lifetime for somebody to, to choose you, to make a decision about you, to do what they said they were going to do, to put action behind their words, or this is you. But I kind of feel like this is maybe you. I, I, this is somebody else in your energy. You guys, I feel like you're the one that's growing impatient. 
it's almost like you guys are dealing with somebody that is like already has like a failing situation. Like it's a very tumultuous situation that they're already in, but you feel like they're not. You guys have just been dealing with somebody that like they're they're not committing to you. They're lazy. You're going impatient with them. You feel like you've got nothing out of all the investment that you put into this person. You feel like they're not growing. You feel like they're not changing. This is somebody that needs to leave behind De devil in reverse Capricorn energy. They need to leave behind some type of toxic or abusive situation, but you feel like they're just not getting it or they're not doing it. Like they, they need to face some of their shadows. They need to detach from something. Somebody could be doing it with the hermit and the four of wands though. Yeah. It's like, you're, you, I don't know. So what does this mean for my collective? If you've been wanting, if somebody has been confused or not choosing you, or they have had options, somebody with the ace of swords is about to get perfect clarity about what they want or be making a decision. Like a decision is about to be made. And what does this mean for my collective? The Empress, they feel like you are the Empress. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo. It, it could be. Some of you guys could be Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. But Taurus energy with the Empress, they feel like you are the Divine Femme or the Divine Masculine. What about that? Knight of Wands. And it's like, it's. I feel like you've been kind of maybe waiting for somebody to see your value and your worth, guys. But Spirit is saying that, like, you should never wait for somebody to see your value and your worth. So Spirit is saying that you've also been kind of stagnating the situation by waiting for somebody to choose you, waiting for somebody to leave that shit behind that they would need to, to be with you and to have a healthy relationship with you, for them to see your value and your worth and that you are worth choosing. That has also been stagnating the situation. So that's why Spirit is saying that the situation hasn't been moving forward at the pace that you would like it to, but it's partially your fault. This person, yes, they do need to leave all that shit behind, but you also need to stop waiting for this person to leave all that stuff behind and see your worth and choose you. And it's like, once you do that, I feel like that's when the delays are going to stop happening. You need to choose yourself. All right. Yeah, you need to, you have these self-limiting beliefs like that's been keeping you like waiting for this person to choose you. But the self-limiting belief thinking that like, you need to know your worth. And if it's just like, how do I say this? Like, if you knew your worth, you wouldn't be sitting there waiting for somebody to see your worth, right? So you need to get out of that energy of waiting for this person to choose you. And then, bam, guess what happens once you do that? They, they get this clarity. They make this decision about you. Okay, very clear message coming through here. Yeah, so you finally are saying, like, no, I'm letting this go. This is too much. This is causing me too much stress and anxiety. Waiting for you to do right by me. Yeah. And I feel like you've been, like, resistant to, like, letting this person go. But, and they're also, it's like you and this person are quite possibly mirroring each other. But it's like. They're being very resistant to letting something go. You're being very resistant to letting them go. They're not seeing their worth because they're holding on to a toxic situation. You're not seeing your worth because you're holding on to somebody that doesn't see your worth and that's toxic. So there is like some mirroring going on there. But it's like something about when you you decide, you stop waiting and you see your value and you know that you deserve much better than this. I feel like that's when things are going to change, okay? So that could maybe be what's happening right now. It's like there's about to be a breakthrough and there's about to be like a clarity um, that this person gets about you because the, it's like the energy is shifting. You're no longer waiting for this person. You've grown impatient. You're like, I'm no longer waiting for this. I should have never been waiting for this. Time for me to move on with my life. Um, and then boom, they, they, they finally make the decision to choose you. Yeah. Now they're seeing you as the empress. Now they're seeing your worth because you know your worth. You can't expect other people to see your worth if you don't see it, if you don't truly know it. So it's like when you really step into that energy of really knowing your worth and standing firm on that, that's when everything is going to change. Yep. It's like you finally make some type of decision here to, what is this decision that they're making? I feel like it's to walk away, from, you're to no longer wait. The Hierophant, Taurus energy, what is this decision that they're making? Yeah, two of swords. You were also indecisive about something. Like, yeah, you were, there was a stale, I feel like it was because of, you guys could have been indecisive about a Taurus for some of you, but like you were definitely indecisive about some type of like possibly a, a fire sign or what does this have to do with my collective? Death, like you're putting an end to a situation possibly with a fire sign or something like that, or you're, you're sick of waiting for this person to take a certain type of action to be, step into a leadership role, take charge, want, you know, to choose you. So I feel like there's an ending happening here. Scorpio energy. Tell me about this death. Yeah. Five of swords. You're putting it into the, the toxic, the toxicity, the mind games, the, the, the games, the conflict. And what does that do with anything? 
We have the Six of Pentacles. What about the Six of Pentacles? The Nine of Wands, Resilience, Defensive. If it's not something balanced, you don't want it anymore. Yeah, if, if it's not something balanced, you, you don't want this anymore. So what's this mean for whoever this person is coming through? Devil. See, yeah, they're the one. Yeah, Obsession, Destructive Habit, or Love. Yeah, what about this person? So yeah, they're they're the, they're more stuck than you are. I feel like you guys are both stuck, but they're definitely stuck. But there's some type of obsession or destructive habit or connection or something toxic that they would need to sacrifice um, or let go of to be with you. Pisces energy. They're maybe gaining a new perspective here. Yeah, dark night of the soul. This has been coming out a lot. So this this connection between the two of you is plunging this person into to gaining new perspectives. All right, Page of Wands, what about, you're going to be hearing from this person. They're going to be, yeah, they're going to regret this. Tell you about the Five of Cups for this person. Four of Wands, what about the Four of Wands? Lessons. Yeah, so what about the Four of Wands, though? Because we have the Four of Wands. So we, this is pretty much the same energy. Hermit, Four of Wands, Four of Wands, and Lessons. So what, what does this Four of Wands mean for this person? The Ace of Pentacles. This person is going to want to come back toward you after a separation, wanting to offer you something steady. What does this mean for my collective? Yeah, this person feels like you're a missed opportunity or they're going to start feeling like you're a missed opportunity. What does this mean for my collective? The Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, you're, yeah, reevaluation, long-term view. What are, they're like thinking, they're think, looking at you differently. Feel like you, they want to work with you, or what's Three of Pentacles mean for my collective? The Page of Cups. Yeah, they're going to want to come in and message you, want to try to work on something. Yeah, but why is three? I don't like all these threes. The Ace of Cups. I feel like they're just going to want to come in and. What does this mean for my collective? Ace of Cups, Three of Cups, Four of Pentacles. Hmm. Ace of Wands. No, I feel like this is, what's this mean for this person? Four of Pentacles, Three of Cups, New Beginnings, Children. What does that do with anything? Justice. Maybe some of you guys, they're going through a legal situation in regards to children. Children and justice? The chariot? What does this have to do with children? The emperor. I feel like this person's growing up. I'm be honest. They're going to have to grow up. Yeah, I see them wanting to have a new beginning with you, but let's get more clarity about what's going on here. Um, let's see. So we have haunted their vivid dreams haunt them. They dream of how they broke your heart and, and you moving on with someone else coldness ah see i'm telling you they're feeling you pull your energy away and they're starting to have nightmares they're starting to think that it's because you met somebody else they're starting to think about everything that they did to you mm -hmm. it, it's like if you keep entertaining this person and you keep chasing them it makes them feel like they didn't do anything wrong you know what i mean it makes them feel like well why you know obviously there's nothing wrong with me or i didn't do do anything too bad to the collective because they keep chasing me and they keep wanting me back but it's like when you really go cold on this person, they're going to be like starting to think like, well, damn, like for the collector to cut me off like this, like I must have really hurt them. I must have really done something to them and it's going to haunt them what they did. This person knows. Yeah, they feel you pulling away. They wish they can pull you back and convince you they're worth keeping. So it's like now you're seeing your worth and you don't feel like they're worth it. But they need to understand that they were not treating you like you were worth it. Right. Slipped away. Yeah, this is somebody that's feeling you move on from them or let them go. You're pulling your energy back. It says, though they never had you, to them, you will always be the one that got away. They regret the chance they didn't take. I feel like for some of you, you were like you were with this person to some degree, but they just feel like you're the one you're slipping away from them. They feel like they may have missed an opportunity with you. They feel like you're the one that got away and they regret like not treating you better, not taking a leap of faith on this connection. Yeah, they regret being emotionally unavailable and emotionally immature. Yeah, it is for your highest good to move on and find your happiness again. You were sick of this person not telling you how they really felt, being distant, being emotionally unavailable, emotionally immature. They, you guys were not on the same frequency. It says, but it says they are aligning to the frequency of love and operating at a high frequency vibration with openness to receiving. 
And it says, yeah, didn't I say, yeah, they're going to gain a new perspective. They've gained a new perspective and now see that they failed you. Wow. By their own sabotaging behavior. So they're going to start realizing that this was their fault. That you, the two of you not working out and them losing you was their fault. They failed you. They didn't do right by you. Yeah, broken. And they're, they, they're going to start feeling like they did you so dirty to the point where they're, you're not, they're probably not going to even be able to have another chance with you. They feel broken inside and don't feel stable enough to trust themselves. Yeah, they, they, they also feel like right now they just can't give you what you deserve. Yeah, trust them, your heart is at, yeah, stable enough to trust themselves with your heart at this time. Please be patient. See, this part, yeah, lustful desires, they could definitely have some issues with like, you guys could feel this person's sexual energy even when you're apart from them, but yeah. It says there's a difference between love and lust. Don't let your desire destroy you. Overcome the spirit of lust. And it says energy cords. Despite the distance between you, they still feel the energetic cords that is keeping you two connected. Yeah, but it says they're, they're going to be walking away from something or breaking free from something. For some of you, it's a marriage. For others of you, it's a family dynamic. It's something that's toxic and destructive and that's not even good for them and that they're not even happy in. It says they are freeing themselves from their self-imposed prison and leaving behind all that kept them away from you. So, yeah, something. It could have even just been that this person needed to heal. We have old wounds here. Yeah, their unhealed childhood wounds prevent them from forming meaningful and long-lasting relationships. So let's do a few more. Oh, that flew out weird. We have the fight. So this is very similar to the twin flame reading that I just did. I mean, we already did pick up on the mirroring aspect of this reading. So like, you know, twin flames do mirror each other. But this person's going to at some point come in and want to fight for you. I feel like they're going to sulk for a little bit and be like, I just have done too much. They'll, they'll never forgive me. But for some reason, I see them coming in and making the decision to fight for this says their inner warrior is being activated. They're getting ready to fight for you and overcome their fears of love. We have battle of the wits. Yeah. Until so both of you learn to let your guards down and be vulnerable, this love will continue to be a battle. So maybe you guys both have issues with being vulnerable. But we have plotting here and we have divine intervention. See, there's something here about family and money. Family and money is an issue. Or like... You guys are just very cultural. Like, there's something about cultural differences or religious differences or belief differences and beliefs. And that's definitely been an issue between you and this person. And I definitely see that they've, they've placed more focus on, like, how they can make a financial gain or money, career, work. That's, that's, that's what they, they, they realize that that has held them back from, you know, achieving tr or finding true love or having this grow with you. But I do see... Yeah, they're going through some tower moments. Could have something to do in regards to family. But it says they are experiencing many tower moments in their life where it's helped them gain clarity on this connection. Or this is what's going to happen going forward. And it says plotting. They're stepping up their game to get your attention because they know you have plenty of options. There's this energy of this person feeling like they're about to lose you to somebody else. The more you pull back your energy, the more they feel like it's because you, you're giving that energy to somebody else. So it says justice. They're trying to do the right thing by offering you something more solid and giving it careful consideration. So that's that Ace of Pentacles energy. Them wanting to come in and give you something solid. So um, let's see. Hmm, hmm. Let's do a few of these. Let's do four. Anything else that they need to know? All right, just here I go dropping decks and stuff. All right. We have carelessness. Yeah, they're going to realize, yeah, they were acting like they didn't care. Like, whatever, I, I don't need the collective. If they're in my life, whatever. If not, it's whatever. That too, you know. They neglected this connection. They didn't give you enough attention. They didn't play their cards right when it came to you. Mm -hmm. They're going to realize that they were very careless with you. Yeah, they wasted a lot of time. Yeah, you're realizing that this person is not worth waiting for. If they want to act like you're not important to them and that they don't need you in their life, their spirit says they're not worth waiting for. And they've just been prolonging the inevitable. Yeah, nothing good will come of it. We have Lady Spiderweb. So, yeah, it's like you're kind of shaping your reality now by being more strategic or whatever moves you're making going forward is shaping your reality. Yeah. Yeah, Ocean of Tears. Emotional. This this is the energy that this person is about to be in. Regrets and mistakes, deep deep sadness, heartbreak, emotional loss, and defeat. What does that mean for this? What's this mean for my collective? Ocean of tears. Yeah, you've been in. You've been through a lot with this person, but spirit says you are in control of what you endure. Okay, you don't do. You don't have to keep letting this person put you through this. All right. 
But yeah, it says hurt in past relationships, weary, guarded, ongoing battle. You've been through a lot. Spirit knows you've, you've shed a lot of tears. You've been through a lot of emotional loss and defeat. Mm-hmm. But let's see. Closed off. Somebody's in this very guarded energy. Avoiding emotional connection, emotional blocks, guarded. I don't know if that's this. What's this mean for my collective? Planetary vibes. Planetary influences, celestial realms. What does that do with anything? Planetary vibes. Twin. Here we go. Twin flames coming out. 2021. 20, 21, 21 on the camera. Yes, they are your twin flame. Yin and yang. Life forever change. So what's that do with planetary vibes? Spirit. Somebody's going through a rebirth process due to something that's going on in the universe. We do have two full moons. One was already a couple days ago. We have two full moons this month. We have... 50 million planets in retrograde right now. Um, so yeah, spiritual death, rebirth process, self-discovery. So, so this is plunging somebody into the dark night of the soul. What does this mean for my collective? Miss Winter, yeah, stag. So there is like gonna be a delay, or it's just spirit saying it's not there is gonna be some stagnation. Um yeah, and you guys may be starting to feel pessimistic right now, like about the situation with this person. But Spirit says that you're like in the final stages of something. What does this mean for this person? Yeah, they're at a crossroads. They, they can't, they're exploring options, critical stage, at a crossroads. They don't know what the hell they want yet. Un but Spirit says unfoldment, spiritual awakening, breaking free and blooming, connecting with your higher self. So you're dealing with somebody that won't make up their mind about you. You're breaking free and you're going to bloom. Okay. And what does that mean for this? And you're connecting more with your higher self. And what's that mean for my collective? See, what is this about? What about that? Proper offering. See, this person did have lustful desires. There's great sexual chemistry between you and this person with proper offering. They're going to want to come in and give you something more. Right now, this person may feel like all that they have to offer is sex or lust or something like that. So what does this mean for this person? They want to give you something more, like a proper offering. Yeah, manifesting. Your power is activated. Everything is flowing easily. What's this mean for this connection? Unhealthy choices. Yeah, what about unhealthy choices? They're being, They're telling you. Yeah, the unexpected. Something's going on. It says expect major changes, cosmic intervention, powerful changes of heart. Why? What is? Because this person, wow, guys, this person's about to put you on a pedestal. Why is this happening, though? Because it's just justice. It's, it's your justice, y'all. Yeah. Balance being restored. You will get what you deserve. Justice will be served in this situation. At some point, this person... Is gonna they we have she's a unicorn, one of a kind, hard to find, irreplaceable. This person's not gonna be able to find another you. All right. And it says on a pedestal, great admiration, feeling they're out of your league, idealizing and denying flaws. And so this person's gonna come in and like they put you they maybe already put you on a pedestal, but we have perfect match. I feel like you're just gonna be a lot different than anything that they, if they just say this person goes out there and they want to start dating again, they're gonna realize how good they had it with you. That's what I'm getting, but they're about to realize how good that they had it with you. I feel like you guys are being more careful about who you let close to you. But there's going to be that. We have perfect match here, and we have go for it. Taking a risk. Yeah, safe place. Somebody's comfort zone is not good for them. Like, somebody's comfort zone is toxic. Red flags, lies, and deception. Bad intentions. Mm-hmm. So they said they're going to take a risk here. Yeah, taking a risk. Roll with it. Risky situation. What's this mean for my collective? We have use your head. Yeah, you guys are being more logical going forward when it deal when it comes to this person. Now you're going to be coming into a new energy where you're like more like selfish, like not, but not in a bad way, but like where you just know your worth and you're taking your power back and it's actually making you more desirable. It's making you more attractive and it's like opening new worlds for you and it's like it's been difficult and you have heard learned some very difficult or painful sad lessons but spirit says you're going to be getting rewards after hard lessons in the form of a perfect match a compatible relationship or something like that and what is that and they're telling you that you need to be more logical when dealing with this person until this person wants to open their heart like if they're not opening up to you yeah use your head tell me about use your head Paint. yeah it's like you need to stop trying to like make a situation work that you can't there's nothing you can do like it says you've been trying to make the best out of a situation 
Um, I feel like you've been maybe looking at a person through rose colored glasses, um, trying to be optimistic, trying to fix the person, but you can't fix somebody. You need to be more logical. And what does that mean for this person? Yeah, it's like going to make them like, just know guys that like they may have been playing games with you or not taking this as seriously or whatever, but it's because this person has like felt like they, you were so much out of their league. Like they felt like you were so different from what they were used to. And it's like, but it says you stand out from the rest. Just know that you stand out from the rest. It says ruler of their heart, natural leader, the queen bee. Yeah, worth the fight. Yeah, they feel like you're worth fighting for. They're going to feel like you're worth fighting for. It says wanting to conquer, not giving up easily, fighting for your love. So yeah, Spirit says just take this time, take this breather, take this time apart from this person, relax, right? Because I feel like things are going to actually happen out of the blue and very quickly, like when it does happen. But yeah, I see you losing patience, but just know that there's action that's going to be taken here. It says taking control of a situation, forward, move it, willingness to do the work. Yeah. What is karmic ties here for, though? Divine. So the divine is, has their hand in some type of, like, karmic. What about karmic ties in divine hand? Straw into gold. Reviving what was lost. You may have started feeling like this person wasn't for you, but you're about to be seeing something happen here. Yeah, a blessed union. You thought you were starting to think this person was a karmic or something like that. Like you were starting to think this person wasn't your twin. Or maybe you thought that they would never cut ties with those karmics or whatever this karmic is, karmic debt, whatever. But Spirit is saying that like with alchemy here, you're about to transmute something. Something is about to transform or change. Like you're working your magic in a situation where the divine is changing something. It says reviving what was lost. You thought that this was lost. But it says, blessed union, meant to be together. Love that transformed divine mission together. Somebody is like studying you or somebody's still learning how to love. But if somebody knows we have the final dance where it says last chance, all or nothing, not playing any games. So they're going to come in. It's like this person knows exactly what they want or they're going to be studying you to know like how to come towards you or they know. It's like, I don't know. They're like learning how to love you the right way or they're learning how to love in general. Love in general. Love in